Robert Sadler was born a free man in Anderson County. He was sold as a slave at the age of four by his father. He was sold as a slave in 1916, over 50 years after the end of the Civil War. We found his story this week under the kudzu. Robert Sadler was born in 1911 in rural Anderson County. As a child, he suffered from shyness and a possible learning disability. He lived in a shack on the Abbeville Highway. At the age of five, he and his sisters were sold for the sum of $85 to the Beals family, owners of a small plantation on the dirt road which served as the highway between Anderson and Abbeville. Sadler lived on this plantation as a slave until he escaped at the age of 15 by simply walking off the plantation. To understand the impact of Sadler's life, remember that the Emancipation Proclamation had been issued in 1863. The Civil War ended in 1865, and the 13th Amendment outlawing slavery was adopted in December of that year. Robert's life as a slave mirrored the suffering experienced by slaves during the Civil War. He witnessed beatings and assaults with no regard to sex. Sadler was uneducated and therefore had no understanding of the illegality of slavery. After escaping and learning what had happened to him was against the law, Sadler was reluctant to tell anyone about his slavery days, but he was not reluctant to share his faith. After his escape from slavery, Sadler lived with his brother Johnny Sadler before traveling around the country working a variety of jobs. While a slave, Sadler learned about Christianity through the influence of several slaves who lived on the plantation. This would greatly influence Sadler's later work as he eventually became a Christian. The second half of his life was dedicated to establishing missions. Three were known to exist. One was in Canada, where he worked with the native populations. A second was located in Africa. His third was on Church Street near downtown Anderson. Known as Compassion House, Sadler would often be found walking Church Street, ministering one-on-one -on -one with men and women who had been cast off by society. Robert Sadler is truly a man who did not allow his past to shape his future. Eventually, he reconciled with his father, who converted to Christianity before he died. It was during his 60s when Sadler finally sat down to tell his story. Out of print for nearly a decade, The Emancipation of Robert Sadler is once again available. Robert Sadler died on July 15, 1976. He had been to Africa to see his mission there. Unknowingly, he contracted a virus which killed him soon after he returned to the United States. He is buried beside his wife Jackie in Oakwood Cemetery, Buckaris, Ohio. The story of Robert Sadler is both horrific and inspirational. It forces us to accept the fact that slavery was still practiced in Anderson well into the 20th century, but it also reminds us that it is always possible to rebuild one's life through the power of faith. I'm Brian Scott, and we have a lot more stories of African American history coming up all month in February right here under the Kudzu.